So our community is very, very fortunate to have such an excellent person directing Project Save, Joan Pretty. With her UGA Law degree and expert skill set, she has grown and strengthened the programs and services provided for, for survivors of domestic violence over the past 13 years. With much credit to Joan, Project SAFE is a fine example of a well-functioning nonprofit organization. A well-oiled machine, but one with a compassionate heart, providing comfort and reassurance of a better life ahead. One might be amazed by the number and variety of services that Project SAFE provides. They range from safe shelter to counseling to transitional housing, outreach and prevention and awareness programs, a 24-hour hotline, a teen text line, job-related assistance and education support, uh, children's programs, and legal advocacy. The list goes on and on. In this night of stars, Joan is a star herself, having received both state and national awards for innovation. Exactly. But far more important to her is the way that Project SAFE has reached beyond Athens and the surrounding area to influence individuals and organizations across Georgia in, Im in improving their response to domestic violence in their communities. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Joan Pretty. reading glasses, so um, wish me luck. All right, as of noon today, here's where we are. In fifth place, team number five, Chuck and Natalie. In fourth place, team number seven, SJ and Ladarius. In third place, Team number 10, Brett and Cassidy. In second place, Cab 6, Charlie and Barbara. And in first place, Team 8, Aaron, Emily and If the couple that you came to see was not on that list, you can change that. We've got a couple of voting intermissions tonight, and the standings are still pretty close. And if the team you're here to see was on that list, well, you can ensure their victory by making another contribution tonight. Here's something else that your votes can do. Besides changing the result of tonight's show, they can change somebody's situation from a place of danger and despair due to abuse in the home, Project Safe Services can bring them to a place of safety and hope. But even more important than that, your contributions, your votes tonight can change the course of somebody's life. There's a little girl, about three and a half years old, staying at our shelter right now. It, one of a number of children, but she's kind of a favorite of mine because I, I was on call and, and was the one to bring her and her mother in to the shelter. She is just tall enough to, to see over a tabletop, which put her at eye level when her father put her mother's hand there and chopped it. When she first came into the shelter, all her stick figure drawings of family included blood and weapons and the horrors that she had seen. But now she's been there a few months and her drawings are different. They're like a regular three-and-a-half-year-old kid. She sleeps more. She sleeps more, and she worries less. 
she laughs more and she cries less. And it's been a very long time since she asked a staff member, do all daddies cut their mommy's hand? Her life is going to be different because of Project Safe, because of the services that we will provide to her and her mother, not just for weeks and months, but for years, if that's what is necessary to undo the suffering caused by domestic violence. Her life is going to be different because the community is going to be different because of our prevention and education services and our systems change and legislative advocacy. Her life and that of thousands of other children that we help are all going to be different because of you. Because of the funds raised in part through this event and on this night. That's what you're voting the next two intermissions can do. So yeah, you can change the outcome of the show, make sure that the team you're cheering for wins. But much more important than that, you can change someone's situation, you can change the course of somebody's life. And I do hope you will do that. Thank you all for being here. And let's get back to dancing.